Jeremy Clarkson has dedicated his time to Diddley Squat Farm since taking over in 2019, but one Twitter follower seemed to have expected to see him stacking shelves or serving customers at his farm shop in Chipping Norton. At Jeremy Clarkson, where are you at the shop today? Three hour journey and you ain't even working, vented the user. Chuckling with laughter in response, Jeremy fired back in view of his 8 million followers. Ha 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 ha. I work on the farm. The fan followed up by jokingly accusing him of having been too busy watching F1, before acknowledging Shed had a lovely visit. Meanwhile, Jeremy also recently insisted that there are no plans to expand the farm shop, hitting back at a false report suggesting that work was underway on it. Although he might not have an active presence there, he wasted no time in commending his food to other Twitter users. Those burgers, I think, are the best, in the world, he recently declared. At Kyle Wright 13 concurred that as a burger eating destination, it was a lovely spot, adding, Burford is a gem just up the road also. Like teleporting into quintessential England. Meanwhile, it has emerged that Jeremy has just launched a new limited edition lager for fans to enjoy with their burgers, labelled Hawkston Red Brew 6. 2. The beer is 6.2% volume, which was deliberately chosen to mimic the volume of some V8 engines, and Jeremy has already tried it out on video. Revealing his verdict on the brand's Instagram page, he declared, Jesus Christ, that's strong. Fans are relieved to learn that Jeremy's farm seems to be here to stay after he recently concerned them by discussing the prospect of closing it down. Profit margins have been tough and the Grand Tour star has even claimed that in the farm's first year, he made just £114 in profit. H has been at the mercy of unexpected weather conditions, ending up with a poor supply of wheat this year, which is not good news for his Hawkston Lager brand. He was also forced to issue a warning to customers that drinks they purchased could explode due to over-fermentation, amid various woes with officials over the likes of planning permission. In his Sunday Times column, the frustrated star exclaimed, I could sell the farm and earn far more from the interest than I do from growing bread and beer and vegetable oil. However, to fans' relief, he ultimately decided against giving it up, and is leaving it to family in the future instead, as there are no death duties on farmland.